Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para samahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! So from the title of this video, we know na ang ating didiscuss is prime factorization. Okay, so sa previous video, andyan yung link sa taas, diniscuss natin yung number theories including yung difference between our prime and composite numbers. So what is prime factorization? Prime factorization is basically yung pagsulat natin ng number as a product of its prime factors. So, for example, 6. Ang 6 ay may factors na 1 and 6, 2 and 3. Pero, ang 1 is not a prime factor. 6 is also not a prime factor. So, here, we will express 6 as a product of 2 times 3 kasi yung 2 and 3 are prime factors. Another example is 8. The prime factors of 8 are 2 times 2 times 3. Since meron tayong dalawang 2 sa factors natin, we can express it as 2 raised to 2. Next example is 15. 15 is equal to 3 times 5. So yung 3 and 5 are prime factors of 15. So meron tayong dalawang methods of prime factorization. One is the factor 3 method and the other one is upside down division. So dito, i-identify natin ang prime factors ng 24 using both methods. Let's start with the factor 3 method. So ang technique dito is tingnan natin kung divisible ba by 2 and then kapag hindi, by 3. And then kapag hindi pa rin divisible by 3, by 5 or by 7, yung ating number. Bakit? Kasi ito yung ating smallest prime factors. So for number 24, divisible ba ito by 2? Yes. 2 times 12 is equal to 24. 2 is a prime factor, so hindi na natin siya ifa-factor out. How about 12? 12 is a composite number. So, identify natin yung kanyang factors. Is it divisible by 2? Yes. 2 times 6 is equal to 12. Okay, so meron tayong 6. 6 is a composite number. What are the factors of 6? 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Now we have... 2 and 3. Pareho na silang prime factors. So, hindi na natin ito if a factor out further. So, our prime factors here are 2, 2, 2, and 3. So, 24 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Now, let's try identifying the prime factors using the upside down division method. So, medyo similar lang naman ang factor 3 and upside down division method. Magkaiba lang siya visually. So, bakit ito tinawag na upside down division? So, for example, 24, iti-check rin natin kung divisible siya by 2. So, in this case, it is divisible by 2. But instead of writing it this way, 24 divided by 2 is 12, we will write it this way. Okay? So, meron tayong 12. 12 is divisible by 2. So, let's divide it by 2. We will get 6. 6 is again divisible by 2. So, we will have 3. 3 is already a prime number. So, hindi na tayo magde-divide further. Here, ang ating prime factors is yung mga numbers na nasa leftmost and then yung number na nasa bottommost. We have 24 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So as you can see, whichever method ang ating gamitin, we will get the same answer. So bakit ko pa ba tinuro tong upside down division method? In our next lesson, mas nag-work, or at least personally for me, mas madali kapag ginagamit natin ang upside down division method, lalo na for bigger numbers. Now let's answer some examples. For number 1, what are the prime factors of 126? Use the factor 3 method. So, meron tayong 126. Gaya na sinabi ko, always start with 2. Kapag even number siya, divide it agad by 2. 126 divided by 2 is 63. Is 63 divisible by 2? No. So, dun tayo sa next na prime number. 3. Is it divisible by 3? Yes. So, 63 divided by 3, that's 21. 21, not divisible by 2, but it is divisible by 3. 21 divided by 3, that's 7. Okay, so guys, important din na memorize natin ang multiplication table natin, ha? 3 and 7 are both prime numbers, so hindi na natin ifa-factor pa further. 
So these are our prime factors. 2 times 2 times 2 times 7 or equal to 2 raised to cube times 7. It's the exponential form. So pareho naman yung tama. Number 2. What are the prime factors of 945? Use the upside down division method. Okay, so we have 945. So, hindi siya divisible by 2 kasi odd number siya. Medyo may obvious na tayong prime factor dito. It's 5. So, let's divide it by 5. 9 divided by 5, that's 1. 9 minus 5, 4. 40 divided by 5, that's 8. 45 divided by 5, that would be 9. So, 189. 189 is also an odd number, so it's not divisible by 2. Is it divisible by 3? Paano natin check yon? Add the digits. If the sum is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. This is divisible by 3. So, ang 189 is pwede divide by 3. 18 divided by 3, that's 6. 9 divided by 3, that's 3. We have here 63. Divisible siya by 3. 63 divided by 3, we will have 21. Again, 21, it's divisible by 3. 21 divided by 3, we will get 7. So, yung 7, prime number na siya. So, hindi na natin to. It divide pa further. So, here, ang ating prime factors is etong nasa side and etong nasa pinaka baba. 945 is equal to 5 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 7. Or 3 raised to 3 times 5 times 7. Find the prime factors of 240. Write your answer using exponential form. Gamitin natin ang factor 3 method. 240, it's divisible by 2. 2 times 120. 120 is again divisible by 2. We will get 60. 60 is divisible by 2. 60 divided by 2, that's 30. 30 divided by 2 again. We will get 15. 15 is divisible by 5. 15 divided by 5, we will get 3. Okay, so prime factors na to pareho. So, ang ating prime factors dito are 2, 2, 2, 2, 5, and 3. The prime factors of 240 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 3. But since ang hinahanap natin is exponential form, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4 na 2s. So that would be 2 raised to 4 times 3 times 5. Okay, one of the applications ng ating prime factorization would be kapag nagsisimplify tayo ng fractions. So here, for example, we have 24 over 132. So 24, if we factor this out, we will have 2 and 12. Factors of 12 are 2 and 6. Tapos yung 6, pwede natin pang ma-factor sa 2 times 3. So, ang prime factors ng 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. How about 132? 132 is divisible by 2. 132 divided by 2, that is 66. 66 is divisible by 2, we will get 33. 33 is divisible by 3. 3 and 11. Yung 11 is already a prime number. So, ang 132, that's equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 11. So, here, ang gagawin natin is, i-cancel out natin ang common terms. So, kung magka-cancel out tayo ng isang 2 dito, magka-cancel din tayo ng isang 2 sa baba. May isa pang 2 sa taas at 2 sa baba, so magka-cancel out yung dalawang yon. How about this one? Hindi natin maka-cancel out yung 2 na to kasi dalawa lang yung meron sa baba. So, may may iwan na isang 2. How about 3? Meron tayo sa taas and meron din sa baba. So, yung common factors natin na 2 times 2 times 3 ay maka-cancel out. So, our final answer here would be 2 over 11. Another application ng prime factorization is kapag nagbumultiply tayo ng fractions. Lalo na kapag yung fractions natin ay merong malalaking numbers. Why? Kasi instead of multiplying 5 and 21, pwede mo nang i-factor out natin yung 21. Para, we are dealing with smaller numbers. So, 5 is a prime number. So, hindi na natin siya gagalawin. How about 9? Factors of 9 are 3 times 3. 
prime factors na sila, so okay na tayo dyan. How about 21? 21 is divisible by 3 and 7. Mapafactor pa ba natin itong dalawa? Hindi na. How about 15? 15 is divisible by 3 and 5. So here, isusulat natin sila. 5 times 3 times 7. Sa baba naman, we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 5. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, mag-cancel out tayo ng like terms. May 5 sa taas, may 5 sa baba. May isang 3 sa taas, may isang 3 sa baba. So, here our answer would be 7 over 3 times 3, which is just equal to 9. We have 7 over 9. So, instead of multiplying 5 times 21 over 9 times 15, to saka ka mag-simplify, pwede na siyang i- factor out yung individual terms muna. Okay, so that's it for our prime factorization. Again, ang goal natin dito is ma-express ang ating number as a product of prime factors. Alright, our next lesson will be on greatest common factor and least common multiple. I-discuss din kung paano natin gagamitin ang prime factorization in order to get our GCF and LCM. So that's it guys!